It's real, and it cooks chicken. everybody how are y'all doing we have some amazing news for this video but the first news item you would not believe this the kfc console is actually real and it's coming bro uh, this source is coming from ign but i've seen it on multiple sources already the kentucky fried chicken kf console it's vr ready intel powered and capable of 4k ray tracing gameplay up to 240 frames per second y'all know how xbox was touting the world's most powerful console not any more now to be fair technically it's really just a super powerful pc in this um casing but here is the stickler it actually warms chicken there is a chamber to put your chicken in to keep it warm while you're gaming why hasn't anybody thought of this before you're gaming for about two hours, slugging through demon souls like your boy, and you get hungry, dying over and over and over and over. Man, I was on the ritual path for so long, and over, and you wanna take a break and eat some chicken. And so, what originally started out as a Twitter joke is now real and it is happening it's happening it's happening um stay tuned for release dates and pricing but the kentucky fried chicken console is coming do you smell what the console is cooking this is crazy i uh, can't wait for more information but as more information drop you know your boy has you covered all right next news item a much needed update to the ui for the playstation 5 well apparently um since we've received the last received the last um update on the ui to fix um bugs glitches consoles crashing i haven't had any ser serious issues with my ps5s but others gamers have reported it but this was an issue I had. I downloaded Call of Duty Cold War. And in the option, they had like just a list of stuff to download or you had the option to download everything. So I downloaded everything. Little did I know, I also downloaded the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5 version of the game, which I still think is lame. They should make it clear on the game store. Separate the games if you're on a PS5. PS5 by default. So I had both games and my very first experience on call of duty cold war on my ps5 was actually playing the playstation 4 version that's right um they had a glitch or hiccup to where um ps5 owners were actually playing the playstation 4 version of the game it was later fixed but i always wonder sometimes am i playing the ps5 or ps4 version now i know that i'm playing the ps5 version especially because of the dual the um, the dual sense the haptic feedback optimized for the console but now i say all that to say this now a prompt actually pops up on the screen if you're actually accidentally playing the playstation 4 version of any game assassin's creed valhalla um Call of Duty Cold War is the most notorious um, culprit. Now you get a notification that actually lets you know, you sure you want to play this version of the game? 
on your brand new PlayStation 5. And I have to say this, I've never, never been a big fan of backwards compatible compatibility. I buy a new console to play new games. I am not playing any old games on my brand new console, my PlayStation 5. I want PlayStation 5 optimized experiences to validate my $500 purchase. And so this is a cool feature, a cool update for PlayStation 5 owners. Let me know if you have experienced this notification, if you've accidentally started up a PS4 game on your shiny new PlayStation 5. Next news item. Well, it looks like the cyberpunk situation has gotten from bad to worse. Broski, a class action lawsuit is seriously being considered for the game. Investors are contemplating and putting together behind the scenes a class action lawsuit against CD Projekt Red of many citing dishonesty and deception, which I called it. I hate to beat a dead horse, but I kept telling you, red flag, they're not reviewing the console versions of this game. Red flag, they're not allowing reviewers to show their own footage, only pre-stock footage. And so they did all of that got their their sales their pre-orders and now it looks like it's gonna bite them in the butt but the breaking the unfolding news is the breaking news is it's being reported that cd project red has sold over 13 million units of cyberpunk 2077 and so that is a lot of units within this launch window. And so they've made bank on this game. It's already been reported that they turned a profit even before the game launched, just in pre-orders, which is why, which is why they were being a little deceptive. Hopefully, hopefully other companies learn the cyberpunk lesson. And most importantly, gamers do not have to go through this mess, garbage, foolishness ever again bro the next news item a little worrying i say a little worrying because it's not too widespread as of the recording of this video playstation 5 players are reporting dual sense adaptive triggers actually breaking now Again, this isn't widespread. There are millions and millions of uh, multi mill because they're, the console sold um, over 3 million by now. And just factor me alone, I got five DualSense controllers. So there are probably about 10 million DualSense controllers out there. It's being reported that thousands, one, approximately 1,000 faulty controllers have been reported. Uh, this is coming from thegamer.com. And so they're saying that the triggers are breaking and they're saying most notably the right trigger more than the left trigger. Part of me is thinking in most games, I'm thinking Call of Duty. You're using the right trigger way more than the left trigger and the resistance, the resistance. What they're saying is this could be a faulty spring that gamers are fighting the resistance too much and just breaking the controller. Now, I think Sony um, anticipated this and pre-planned for um, um, resistance because um, I haven't had any issues. I'm loving, this is the best controller I've ever gamed on coming from a dude. You saw my game room tour. I've been gaming since the Atari 7800 and this controller is the creme de la creme. But there are reports of the triggers actually breaking. Um, so stay tuned. I'll keep you updated as this news unfolds. And what this reminds me of most recently is the Switch and Joy-Con drifting. The issues that Nintendo had to go through with the whole Joy-Con situation. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this doesn't become as widespread. And Sony's hopefully already aware of this and fixing future um, DualSense um, controllers behind the scenes already but liking the controller but i have to let you guys know some are reporting their triggers breaking bro wow all right and to round out this amazing news video bro it looks like 
Gran Turismo 7 will be the racing game fans have long been waiting for. The CEO of Polyphony, uh, the developers for Gran Turismo 7, says that they are striving to deliver, and I quote, the best to everyone, the best possible gaming, um, um, racing game ever made. And this is what, and I quote, the director says the studio does not want to make concessions on anything. So they don't want to compromise anything when it comes to developing this game. It's already been confirmed. It will have 120 frames per second mode. I can't wait to sink my teeth into Gran Turismo 7. Gran Turismo series is the series that got me into like more realistic simulation racing. The PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 when it was the king. I have to say last generation, Forza took that crown. But I think, I think Sony will be back with Gran Turismo 7. And it's being rumored, this is still in the rumor, that this game will be coming out during the first half of 2021. Speaking of 2021, stay tuned for a video this week. It may be my next video where I'm going to break down the biggest and best PlayStation 5 games that I think, I think should be on your radar for 2021. PS5 is going to be crazy next year when it comes to exclusive and just gaming in general. All right, dudes, before I end this video, I got to let you guys know on my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship, I do currently have my playthrough of Demon Souls. I am playing through Demon Souls on my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. That's all the, so the channel that I game with the sponsors. Tonight with the sponsors will be on Call of Duty and 2K on the PS5. Five. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice xbox nintendo or playstation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on youtube two follow me on twitter at obi one plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.